I have a nine-year-old daughter who I named after my late grandmother, Annabelle, and I'm currently pregnant. If I'm having a girl, I want to name her after my other grandmother, Rose. My sister got pregnant about five months before me and says she wants to name her baby Rose. I said our kids can share the name, but she says I already have Annabelle and could have named her Annabelle Rose, but passed up on the chance. So now I can't have Rose. I told her I'll look for something else, but reserve the right to use Rose if I want to. Then I fell in love with the name Rosalie. It honors my late grandmother, my boyfriend loves it, and it won't piss off my sister. A couple of weeks later, my sister gives birth and announces her daughter's name is Rosalie. I am beyond upset because now she's trying to snatch both names from me. My mom calls me to say she knew my sister was planning to do this and hopes I'm not upset because this means I can take the original name I wanted, which was Rose. But I told my mom I'm sticking with Rosalie. She says it's impractical because both Rosalies will have the same surname. My sister is a single mom and my boyfriend will be taking my last name. My sister then calls me to say I'm an inconsiderate prick and that I'm being petty. She can name her kid whatever she wants and I can't monopolize the name. I said true, so by that same logic, I Today at work, I was trying to call my wife, but for some reason, my phone calls weren't getting through to her, so I used one of my coworkers' phones to dial my house number and call home. So I call home, and a sweet voice answers the phone. It's my daughter. I go, hey, cutie, how you doing? She goes, hey, daddy, what's up? And I go, I'm just at work. Uh, what are you and mommy doing? She says, uh, well, I just finished lunch, and mommy's upstairs. I go, cutie, what's mommy doing upstairs? She goes, she's with Uncle Paul. And I go, Uncle Paul? We don't have an Uncle Paul. What do you mean? She's like, yeah, she's with Uncle Paul. They're upstairs in their room. So I'm like, cutie, that doesn't sound right. So what I want you to do is I want you to leave the phone on the kitchen table, go upstairs to your mommy's room and say, hey, daddy just pulled in the driveway and tell me what happens, all right? She did it and like a minute later, she comes back and picks up the phone and goes, okay, daddy, I did it. And I go, okay, what, what happened? She goes, well, mommy came running out of her room naked and she tripped down the stairs and bumped her head and now she can't get up. So I was like, what about the other guy? And she goes, well, Uncle Paul tried to jump out of the window into the pool, but he missed and hit the floor. Now he won't wake up. So I was like, we don't have a pool. Then I look at the phone number and I was like, oh, sorry, wrong number. For most of my life, my sister has been wanting kids, but has been unable to carry a baby to full term in part due to endometriosis. She was in a lot of pain and had to have a hysterectomy. My sister and her husband have fostered five children and have adopted two children with autism and are great parents. They have a good home environment and are financially very well off, but they've had the urge to have a kid biologically related to them. So they asked me to be their surrogate and said that they would cover all costs associated with it. They would also be paying off my student debt, renting a two-bedroom apartment for three years, plus giving me a substantial amount of cash. I said, sure, it'll be nine months of my life in exchange for being set up for quite some time, and my immediate family thinks it's a great idea. However, when I said sure, I was expecting to get the whole artificial insemination package. But my sister and brother-in-law have asked me to get pregnant the traditional way. The rationale is that one, it's the cheapest way, two, they don't have to go to the hospital given the corona pandemic, and three, babies can seem naturally or healthier and the pregnancy would be safer. Am I going needy for thinking of going back on my word? Is their request reasonable? On the other hand, if I do get this up, I'm also passing up essentially $200,000. Am I the asshole for throwing wine on my mom at my brother's wedding? My mom and I have always had a dot, 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 difficult relationship. Yeah. I'm her scapegoat and my brother is her golden child. He can really do no wrong in her eyes. I'm expected to do housework every time I visit while my bro sits around doing nothing. Mm. So I don't visit much and I just avoid her. Despite all this, bro and I are still very close and I'm good friends with my sister-in-law. My mom has treated sister-in-law like shit ever since she started dating my brother five years ago. My bro and sister-in-law got married 
in October. They seized the COVID opportunity to have something small, 20 guests total, and it was in their backyard. My mom showed up in a floor length white dress. Sister-in-law looked like she was going to cry when she saw my mom. So without thinking, I just grabbed a bottle of red wine. No. Uncorked it and dumped the whole thing down my mom's front. Mom flipped out but couldn't scream at me because there were so many people around. So she just left with my dad and came back wearing a green dress. 